10 Facts and Quotes About Mary Seacole Early Influences Born in 1805 in Kingston, Jamaica, Mary Seacole was greatly influenced by her mother, who was a healer and caretaker. Her mother's boarding house for disabled soldiers introduced Mary to the basics of nursing and herbal medicine, which were essential in her later life. Multicultural Background and Travels Mary's Scottish father and Jamaican mother gave her a rich multicultural heritage. She traveled extensively, including visits to Central America and Britain, experiences that broadened her understanding of the world and different medical practices. Crimean War and the British Hotel During the Crimean War, Seacole's application to be an official nurse was rejected, possibly due to racial prejudice. Undeterred, she funded her own trip to Crimea, where she established the British Hotel, near the battlefront. The hotel provided comfort and medical care to wounded soldiers and became a notable sanctuary during the war. Medical Practices Seacole's medical practices blended traditional Jamaican remedies and European medical thought. Her use of hygiene, herbal remedies, and her compassionate approach were ahead of her time, especially considering the limited understanding of medical science in that era. Post-war struggles and recognition after the war, Seacole faced financial difficulties and was declared bankrupt. However, her memoir, published in 1857, gained public attention. In later years, her contributions were more widely recognized, leading to various honors and acknowledgments. Significance in nursing history Seacole's work in Crimea was during a time when Florence Nightingale was gaining fame. While Nightingale's approach to nursing was more systematic and is more widely known, Seacole's hands-on, compassionate approach to treating soldiers on the battlefield was just as significant. Legacy and Modern Recognition In the 21st century, Seacole's legacy is increasingly celebrated. She is now recognized as a pioneering nurse and a symbol of the important contributions made by people of color in British history. The statue erected in her honor in 2016 at St. Thomas's Hospital in London was a significant step in acknowledging her contributions. Educational impact. Her life and work are now included in school curricula in the UK as an example of a significant figure in Victorian Britain, highlighting her as a role model in overcoming racial and social barriers. Influence on cultural and social perspectives. Seacole's story has been inspirational in discussions about race, gender, and the history of medicine. Her ability to overcome racial prejudice and social constraints of her time continues to inspire and challenge contemporary society. Global Recognition Her autobiography, once nearly forgotten, is now recognized as a valuable historical document, providing insights into the social and medical practices of the 19th century. It's also seen as an early work of post-colonial literature. Quotes by Mary Seacole 1. What matters death if one dies for what one loves, for native land and cherished ones? 2. I have witnessed many scenes of horror, and shrank from none. 2. But the first sight of the battlefield of Chernaya, after the battle, was too much for me. 3. I am no coward, and can face both death and the surgeon's knife with a steady eye, but there are times when the bravest heart might quail. 4. The grateful blessings showered upon us as we left the battlefield were worth ten years of peaceful life. Mary Seacole's life story is more than just a historical account. It's a narrative about resilience, compassion, and the breaking of racial and gender barriers in a time when such efforts were extraordinary. Her legacy serves as a beacon of inspiration and a reminder of the impact one individual can have despite facing significant challenges.